What's up? This is Squad Twenty Four Forty. We're following Senator Sound Team View. Today we'll be taking a look at my top ten favorite GMC trucks here in the game. All of the trucks are public, and you can find the links down below in the description. GMC trucks here in Farm Sim Seventeen are limited, and that is why we are only taking a look at my top ten. And I will be showing guys all of my favorite features about each truck. Up first, we'll be taking a look at the GMC Forty Five Hundred Top Kick Flag. Bed. One of my favorite trucks, I do like the flames up front, giant steps, and it has a very, very big flatbed along with a gooseneck bumper pull hitch, and the suspension is very realistic for heavy loads and does have a lot of different straps along with a pretty nice inside view. We'll be hopping on the inside, I will be driving a few of these around showing you guys different features about them that I really do like, so you guys can see an awesome job on the outside. Then on the front, I really do like the flames, those look pretty cool, along with the those lights, which also look nice. Then on the inside but you guys can see pretty nicely done working mirrors working steering wheel and a pretty cool interior view looks like some radios and also a little laptop we'll take this for a spin to see how it handles but i'm very excited to be doing a top 10 on gmc trucks we did them on all the other trucks and i think up next we might look into trailers or semi trucks so let me know down below in the comments guys what should we do next semi trucks or trailers or any other thing that you guys would like before we kind of continue on to the other ones. But overall, this is one very nice truck, and I do like it a lot. Up next, we'll be taking a look at a 1992 GMC One Ton Dually. This is one pretty cool vehicle. I do like all the detail. Now, it does show Chevy wheels, but that just needs a few updates, and it will be showing GMC. But you guys can see, awesome job, and it does have dual exhaust out of back, which is pretty cool. Once you hop on the inside, you guys can see very nicely done on the interior. You're very detailed, and I mean, this thing looks awesome. I really do like this truck a lot for that, and it's a very nice older model, which looks awesome. You guys can see, nice handling it. And this truck does get up and go, which is also pretty cool, especially for how old it is and everything like that. But I do like this a lot. Very nicely done. And overall, one perfect truck. Up next, we'll be taking a look at a GMC work truck. It's a GMC single cab, 8 foot bed, 3500 Duramax. I mean, this is a perfect work truck. The lowest trim possible because you do have all that black. And usually that black would be chrome, but since it is a work truck, uh, it does not really have any chrome. But you guys can see tow mirrors, toolbox, headache rack in the back. And there's actually a snow plow version with a sander and a plow mount on the front, which is pretty cool. And you guys can see it does have New York license plate. It does have an interior view. It does need a few updates to kind of switch it from Chevy to GMC, but it does have tow mirrors. And I mean, this thing is pretty cool. One of my favorite trucks. I actually did a very nice edit and changes over to Chrome and did a few big upgrades. And you guys have seen those in some videos. Up next, we'll be taking a look at a very similar one with the same cab, but this does have a service body on the back and I believe that this should really be a dually that's like one of the biggest things that I will be changing about this but I really do like this one a lot you guys can see the welder the crane for lifting parts and overall this thing looks pretty cool along with two beacon lights up top those really do make this truck look pretty cool but you guys can see I mean everything about this looks awesome up next, we'll be taking a look at a GMC 2500 Duramax. This is a 2011 model year, and I mean, this thing looks pretty cool. I really do like the lift kit on it. Giant wheels, custom wheels, and I mean, this thing looks awesome. Even though the model is not that good textured-wise, I mean, this still looks pretty cool. You guys can see giant exhaust out of the back. We'll take this for a spin to see how this handles, but I'm very excited to be doing these top 10s. I do get a lot of requests to do them, and I hope believe that we get to do more top 15s and not have to kind of downsize to a top 10 but GMC trucks here in this game are limited the few that are very nice do kind of cause a lot of lag and I really wanted to showcase the ones that I do use a lot and ones that I will be using a lot which is like the main goal showing you guys my favorite ones which is overall pretty cool you guys can see this does roll over which is very realistic for a uh, lifted truck just like this up next we'll be taking a look at a GMC top kick grain truck this was made by Winston one epic modder and I do appreciate 
all of his support, but you guys can see, nice bad. Now, this does not really unload. It just kind of comes out of back, which is pretty cool. It does have a bumper pull hitch, which is nice. Once you hop on the inside, you guys can see, I mean, this looks pretty cool. On the inside, working gauges and working mirrors. I mean, this thing is awesome. I really do like a lot. It is a simple truck, but it is at the same time pretty detailed on the inside with that seat wise. And like we're saying, this really does not raise up. It really just kind of goes like that, and it all comes out, which is okay. We as you guys can see, it does raise up, which is nice. One hydraulic, and I mean, take a look at that. I mean, this is one epic truck. I really do like it a lot. Up next, we'll be taking a look at a GMC Top Kick Bucket Truck. This is one epic truck. We do feature this a lot in our tree services, and I really do like this one a lot. We'll hop on the inside, but you guys can see the bucket does work. Two beacon lights, very detailed on the outside. Looks like it is completely AO baked, which is nice. And you guys can see this entire bucket truck works. I mean, that is awesome to have a truck just like that. And there's actually another camera view up here, so you guys can see we're kind of moving around and going up in the sky. I mean, that is pretty epic. I really do like this one a lot and it's a great GMC truck one of the most uh, favorite ones that I've used before and it will continue to be one of my favorites just because we do not have too many bucket trucks and overall this is pretty cool and like I was saying all the links will be down below in the description and I am trying my best to find the best public mods possible I do have a lot of private mods but I really want to be showing you guys the public mods so you guys can download them up next we'll be taking a look at some GMC trucks from wood metal farming up first is a GMC Top Kick rollback. I mean, this is one epic truck. Once we hop on the inside, you guys can see LED lights up top, a tow bar that works, and it does have a locking strip. So you always want the tow bar to go down it before you slide this out. But you guys can see this slides, and you can put vehicles on it, which is pretty cool. I really do like this a lot. Tow trucks in this game are pretty cool, and I do feature them in a lot of different types of videos. But you guys can see overall one very nice truck, and I really do like this one a lot, especially since it's a single cab. I might wait look into taking this cab and making a few different vehicles. Up next, we'll be taking a look at another GMC Top Kick, which is a bit older than the one we saw a bit earlier today. And you guys can see it is a tree truck, which is nice. It does have an old LED light bar up top. This does have an old light bar up top, which is pretty cool, and it does have a plow mount, so we're going to back this up and take a look at it. You guys can see it does have all of the lights. It does have beacon lights and LED lights on the corners of the bed, and when you do unload this, this is awesome, guys. So the back door swings open, and then as you guys can see, the toolboxes stay on the truck, and then that lifts up. Very detailed, you guys can see it looks like the toolboxes are AO baked, and I mean, this thing looks awesome, very awesome, and I do use this quite a bit in my tree services and I have made a few edits of this and put different calves on it which is pretty cool. The final mod we'll be taking a look at today is a GMC Top Kick Dump Truck. I use this in quite a lot of videos. It does have a plow mount up front and I mean this is one epic truck. I really do like this one a lot. You guys can see two LED light bars up top which is nice and a few LEDs in the back and I mean this thing looks awesome. I really do like it a lot. And you guys can see it does have a dump bed that works and it looks like I mean overall very nicely done and I do like it in dark red sense that is my favorite color for trucks but i hope you guys enjoyed today's top 10 favorite gmc trucks i will be looking to do many more probably up next will be trailers and then maybe uh semi trailers or even we'll do some semi trucks but i hope you guys enjoy go check out all these down below in the description have a great day and subscribe for more